how do we get inspired by content while not losing ourselves in the inspiration? This morning, I received a comment that nearly gave me an existential crisis. Okay, maybe I'm being a little dramatic, but it honestly got me thinking. And this video is a bit of that thought process. So this is a very kind of impromptu <laughs> video because I don't know, I just got struck by inspiration and I wanted to make it. So I just received a couple comments on my last video about how the screenplay looks a lot like Life of Riza, 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 yeah. And honestly, I see it too. <laughs> and I really love her videos. So it makes sense that right now my styles like really really inspired slash impacted by her videos but that kind of sent me into a little bit of an existential crisis because now i'm like what is my style looking back i remember being super into peter mckinnon videos and making videos that emulated his style and then super into sorella more videos and then making videos that emulated her style and jonah giton or yona yona giton i'm horrible at pronouncing names <laughs> but like what is my style? Part of the reason why my videos have emulated more of Life of Frieza, sticking through that now, Life of Frieza, is that I got a Canon R5C about a year ago and I've been trying to make more cinematic stuff because I have a hybrid cinematic camera. And when I look up cinematic videos, boom, she's like at the top. There, of course, there's other creators too, but I think because she is a woman and she makes this beautiful stuff and she makes very like peaceful things that make you want to think it just really is inspiring and i but i don't want to like copy someone's style you know and maybe in my last video that kind of happened but now i'm just thinking what the fuck is my style i don't know this is just I don't even know if I'm going to post this, to be honest. I'm just kind of rambling because I'm just thinking, holy crap. Can I find my own style from this? Maybe I just gotta talk more authentically to the camera and let you guys get to know my personality a little bit more. Huh. But is that style? Is personality style? I don't know. Damn, I think I just gave myself some whiplash. Ooh. God, my neck is horrible. Um, maybe I just make random clips and show my chaotic side a little bit more. Maybe I just let this be kind of the trigger that sets off a domino effect of me finding my own style. I don't know if this is going to help anyone, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe I just get all of the qualities that I love about different people, plus the qualities that I love about myself, and just smush them together and create something else. Hmm. I think I might be on to something. Hmm. Okay. This duvet cover is so freaking nice. Not this, this is a sheet, but the duvet cover that I'm about to put onto my bed is so nice, but it's so freaking heavy. It's like a two-man job. 
Okay. Um, okay. Whew. All right, it's looking good. So I have my journal and I have written all the qualities that I like in my favorite YouTubers. I really like that Peter McKinnon and Sorello Moore bring this energy to the table. I really like Peter McKinnon's use of rock music, Life of Reza's use of Motown. I love Reza's cinematic storytelling, uh, Yona's authentic, slow living and magical feeling, and also Sorella Moore's badassness. I really love that. And as for myself, I really like that I am witty. I am a little chaotic too. And I think I'm deep thinking. I think I have kind of like a character development story going on in my own life. And I love that I have my YouTube channel to kind of follow me along throughout my journey. But looking at all this, one thing that keeps coming back to my mind that has been going on in my mind for years now is personal development through creative expression or personal development for creators. I'm gonna go get something and change my battery as well. So hold on. All right, I got my new battery in and look at this. Look at you. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to find this is listen to this. This is from when I was living in LA. This is on June 6, 2020. This is kind of, by the way, a manifestation journal. In manifestation scripting, they say to talk about things as though it is a present tense um, so that you already have the thing that you're trying to get. And this is what I wrote. I am happy and grateful for my abundant life. My YouTube channel is growing at an exponential rate. My photography and videography skills have improved incredibly and I'm so proud of all I have accomplished so far. My channel inspires others each day to improve themselves and, and their lives through creative expression. And on it, I share my own photography journey. And this is on June 7th. My content reaches millions and shows them how to discover themselves through creativity. Okay, this is June 9th. My content reaches millions each month and inspires them to better themselves through creative expression and mindfulness. My content has reached and inspired millions of people, and each day I receive random DMs and comments about how my content pulled someone out of a dark place. It gives meaning to my life. Hmm. Actually makes me feel a little bit like, huh, because I know that like <laughs> during that time I was kind of in a dark place, so I just wanted to make stuff to help other people that were in dark places. My goodness, wow. Stop it. You go back in there. <laughs> Oof. I did not expect that to hit me like that. Okay. Hold on. I need a second. <laughs> I'm so proud to say that my content has touched the lives of so many women who are where I was in my darkest moments. Just as Sorel, Tara Priest, Lavender, and Catherine Zankina were my light. I am theirs. Damn. I had just gone through, I think, like a very mentally dark year or two in my life, and I was just feeling better. And this is June 13th, so I was coming out of that dark place, and I really could see like the light at the end of the tunnel. And what's crazy about this is on June 25th, my dad died. <laughs> I don't know why I said that with a laugh, but. It's like, damn, <laughs> like I was writing all this, kind of hoping for the future, feeling really good and feeling like I just overcame something and that I could teach other people how to overcome something. And then boom, big life event happened. And I don't know, this video, I don't even know if I'm gonna make it to be honest, but I think just diving into my past stuff and kind of getting an idea of what it is that I admire in the content creators that I have emulated in the past or that I'm emulating right now. It gives me a better idea of what I'm trying to do and kind of, what is it, recalibrates my internal compass. I'll figure it out. 
we'll see how this video comes out see what kind of style it is you know <laughs> but yeah this is just like a weird thought process type of video yeah i hope you enjoyed it though if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and until next time bye nova do you have anything that you would like to add Oh. Okay. Thank you.